I'm Anthony Banks, director of Blackmail. I love directing new plays, and Blackmail is, in many ways, a new play. It was fantastically successful in the West End, late 1920s, early 1930s, and of course Hitchcock uh, turned it into a movie. But the play itself has been lost, and so uh, directing this production is like directing a new play and a classic play at the same time. You get the best of both worlds because you're able to research what happened in the 20s with the original production, you're able to watch the Hitchcock movie, and you're also able to collaborate with Mark Ravenhill, who has written a really exciting, vivid contemporary telling of this story. When I read the story of Blackmail the first time, I was immediately hooked by this moral dilemma. The central character, 19-year-old Alice Jarvis, finds herself in. She makes a choice one midsummer night and it causes catastrophe and it's like a domino rally a kind of ricochet of um, of disaster after disaster and uh, it's irresistible because it could happen to any one of us there really isn't a downbeat in this thriller it is action-packed and the four characters in the room the clock is ticking and everything that you see unfold before you is happening in real time. I think people coming to blackmail, whether or not they've seen the Hitchcock film, will have a very exciting live experience. Because as we all know, the, the two art forms are different. And watching a story unfold in the cinema or on Netflix or you know on your phone is quite a locked experience. But in the theatre, particularly as this uh, story unfolds over real time, the audience, I think, will imagine that they're really there in the room with these four characters who are going through some um, extraordinary um, in incidents. And I think that's going to make it feel like a very real live experience for the audience.